Which solo did Steve Lukather just take a run at to get under his fingers, get in his head, and then turn and say, let's do a take, to which the producer said, that was it? It's this one. Yet another Steve Luca the solo today, and we're doing it on this guy. Look at this. This is unbelievable. I literally haven't put this down. It is not mine. I'm borrowing it off uh, off a new friend, and it's pretty amazing. We're going to do a video on it later. Oh, to be a fly on the wall those days uh, in the studio, the golden age of sort of 80s, 70s and 80s. Uh, they just don't do it like that anymore, which is, which is such a shame. Anyway, okay, there is Tab, of course, on screen. Just follow that, um, I suppose. As usual, just going to talk uh, a little bit about the solo, just some things that are interesting and all that sort of things, starting uh, with tone. All right, tone bridge pickup, humbucker um, is good. Nice overdriven sound. Doesn't sound super wet, this one. Um, I've got a, a, a lot of delay on there. It's just sort of a go-to sound I've, I've got and... I didn't take the delay off because I like it. it. That kind of stuff is often buried in the mix anyway. But the sound I've got now is probably a lot wetter, a lot more effects than uh, than, than you might need. Okay, keyways, we're in A minor, A natural minor. The solo section is really off a, a sort of an A, an A minor, um, and then a bit of a G and an F major in as well. So it's A natural minor. Um, lots of bends, some whammy bar, and just Steve Lukather isms. You know, so uh, starting with that fantastic bend there. Okay, so you're in that 12th position. You're bending that uh, D up to an E. So uh, again, it's a chord tone. D is the fourth, but you're, you're going to the fifth. And then you're hitting that G there. So that's the kind of the minor seven uh, of the A minor. <laughs> And as he releases it, he's going to bend the B up to a C. Which is really nice. So that first bit. That phrasing alone is so great there. So again, as he releases that bend, you have to come down to the G string to go up a semitone. And then you're going to go up to the A on the high E. Again, just watch the fingers closely there. Okay, those, just the phrasing there is great. The notes, he's, he's choosing it. It doesn't fit under, fit under the fingers, under my fingers anyway, super easily, but um, you know, it's just Steve Luca there at his finest, I think. Okay, the next part for me is really tricky on the right hand. Now my right hand is pretty terrible, so you all might have, uh, have better luck. Okay, that part there. So he's coming from the, the C down to the E, really common. So he's got a bit of a skip there, a bit of a mute. It's all, all with the right hand. And then this next part. It's not tricky, it's just three strings in a row. So I'm hitting the B string with a downstroke and then upstroke on the G and D. And for, for me, I find that quite tricky. Okay, really nice then, he's come down on E, minor triad. So again, obviously it's all in A minor, but it's interesting to see where he hits chord tones, where he brings in a triad and those sorts of things. Okay, the next bit, he's really moving up to the high frets. Okay, <laughs> crazy. This part here is just a, you know, nothing, nothing too fancy there, but he brings that same bend as he started the solo. And then he goes up to A minor pentatonic up the octave. 
Okay, now I put my fingers in a funny, uh, funny looking shape there, I suppose. It's just to mute the string. You could do it with your pinky as well. <coughs> Whatever's kind of more, more comfortable. Then we've got a full step bend from the 22nd fret. We're gonna come down A minor pentatonic. <coughs> Okay, that last, that last part. So on the high strings, it's a full step bend down A minor. Okay, and remember A minor. Okay, then the next one, the next one is doing a two step bend. It's kind of those uh, Rosanna, that outro solo. It's the same kind of idea there. Two step bend there. So it's pretty big. There are nines on this, so it's, it's doable, but... Um, And that last one I always miss, he's hitting two strings at once and I didn't do it there. Okay, running with the night, that solo Steve Lukather, full of phrasing that he does so well. It's another one of those 80s solos that's just magical and worth the time to learn. A passing thought. When I was listening to it again, I thought, oh yeah, okay, that's not so fast. It's not sort of super shreddy, but it's not easy. I had to practice it. It's, you know, he just, he's so great, the, the, the talent that guy's got. Anyway, running with the night. Good luck. See you next time.